Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the rock, paper, scissors game tutorial using Python and Tkinter. In this video, we're gonna actually write some of the code for the game. Before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. It helps the channel grow and it helps other people see this video. I really would appreciate it. All right, let's get right into it. Let's open up the folder that we created in the last video. Please make sure to name all of the images exactly what I named them here. It's going to ensure that all of this goes smoothly. Also create a Python file and name it rock, paper, scissors. Save it inside this folder as well. All right, once you're done with that, let's go to our rock, paper, scissors file and actually write the code. The first thing we're going to do is import the tkinter module. And we're also going to import random because we're going to use that to randomly select what the computer is going to be, whether it's rock, paper, or scissors. Now let's create an instance of TK and let's call one of their methods called main loop. What this is going to do is going to create a window for us, just like this. Now, if we want to do anything to this window, we're going to have to call on other methods to change things of this window. For example, if we want to change the icon and the title, we would call on the icon bitmap method. This is for the icon. And in these brackets, you type in the name of the file that you want to be the icon. We named it rock2. Well, it's an ICO file, so I'll also include the, the type of file that it is. Now let's change the, the title of the window by calling the title method. And in here, type in whatever you want it to be. In this case, let's call it rock, paper, scissors. Let's run this so you can see what that did. It changed the icon and it changed the title. Another thing that I don't want is you see how you can resize this from width and height. I don't want the user to be able to do that. So I'm going to call on the resizable method. And I'm going to set the width to false and the height to false as well. This isn't going to let the user resize the, the window. Next, we're going to create a global variable. Let's call it click. And we're actually not going to use that until part three. So let's not worry about that yet. Next, we're going to bring in all the images that we downloaded in the last video. We're going to start with the, the R hand. I like to call it the R hand for short, but of course it's rock hand. Have to type that much so they call it R hand photo. That's the name of the variable for it. Now to actually bring it in, we have to use a method. And this one is called photo image inside the brackets. You're going you're gonna to type in file and the name of the file. In this case, we named this picture R hand and it was a PNG file. So we're going to do the same thing for the other images. Now let's also bring in the rock, paper, scissors photos. So this one's gonna call be called rock photo because this is an actual rock. And we named that one rock PNG. Let's do the same thing for the other images.
one thing that I like to do is I like to keep everything in order. So here I brought in R hand, S hand, and P hand. And I actually should have put this one in the end here. So it's rock, paper, scissors. So let's keep everything consistent. So we did the same thing here, rock, paper, and scissors. Now let's bring in the you win, you lose, and tie pictures. So let's just call it win photo. Once you bring that in, then we're going to name our buttons. We're just going to create the variables for our buttons, but we're not actually going to create the buttons yet. We'll do that in part three. This is going to be the R hand button and then the P hand button and S hand. Now let's create the functions that we're going to use for this game. Uh, the first one is going to be play. This is going to actually have the, the game in it. The next function, it's going to be computer pick. This is going to select what the computer is going to be, whether it's rock, paper, scissors. And the last function is going to be you pick. That is going to determine which button did you click whether it was the rock paper scissors and it's also going to figure out who won so that one's going to be the longer function of the two these two functions are actually be going to be kind of short and that's it i think that's going to be it for as far as what we have to write in this part two of the series let me just recap what we did here we brought in the tkinter module which is going to let us use gui Import random is going to let us randomly select what the computer is going to be. We created an instance of TK. Here we used one of the methods of TK, the icon bitmap, which let us change the icon of the window. This one let us change the title of the window. This one is not going to allow the user to resize the window. We're going to use this variable in our functions so for part three so we're not going to worry about that yet and all of these basically we just brought in all of the images that we created or that we downloaded in the last video and we put them in into their own variable this one for example the r hand image got put into r hand photo and then we created our three buttons but we actually didn't create the buttons we just created the variables for them and we created our three functions, but we haven't put anything inside of them. And that's it. In the next video, we'll actually write the code for these functions. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in part three.